Hi, it's Eileen from Elegant Marketplace, and today I want to go through with you the settings on the Monarch plugin. I'm using it with Divi, but it's from Elegant Themes, and it's a plugin, so you can use it on your other WordPress installations. Now, the other day, I was configuring the icons for a client, and I had no idea what was going on here. When I would click the different options, I couldn't discern a difference in my blog post. Um, so I just wanted to take you through what each of them does really quickly. Um, this is actually going to control the hover. And here you can choose your shape, square, slightly rounded edges, or a circle. You can say if you want above the content, below, or both, and then you can play with these other options to suit your client, what you need. And if you want custom colors, you can do that right here. Um, and then you can also put where you want to have the icons be displayed. So just to backtrack a little bit, you find these settings in your tools and Monarch settings. So once you install it, the top one is your network, so you can decide you know, where you want to share. If you add a network, you can click one and apply, and it will just show up, and then you can rearrange by dragging and dropping and removing. If you put your Twitter handle in here, then when the t somebody tweets it, your username will be included in the tweet, which is a great way to increase your um, visibility. So for us, or for me, for this example, I'm using inline. So that means that the sharing icons will show up in a straight line. You could do pop-up, fly-in, I'm not a fan of on the side. I feel like it's very um, distracting. So I just like the generic inline. So here we go. Here's option number one. I'm going to save the changes and then I want to show you what this will look like on the post. Um, we're using Artisan from Melissa. Melissa Love and I'll add a link to her um, where you can find her child themes in the Elegant Marketplace store. So you can see here, hover, colors get a little darker, and the Facebook block, or the social media icon block, gets a little larger. Same, same, same. Okay, so that's option one. I think that you'll find, <clears throat> like I did, that none of these are so wildly interesting or different that it makes a big difference. So here you'll see the icon where before the Facebook or the Twitter they shifted a little to the right. They just go a little dark. Okay, a couple shades darker from what they were before. And option three now, of course, you can customize these colors. Okay, so see how Facebook rolls in and out? So if you wanted, say, all of these icons to be um, black and hover when they're gray or purple, um, you can set all that up in the bottom. Okay, and then option number four. It all just goes dark very subtly and there's no distinguishing between the different uh, between the icon and the written word so it's pretty simple like I said I don't think anybody's gonna freak out in a you know happy dance or be appalled by any of your choices here so I guess it's just really up to you and if you customize the colors, then it really could pop. You know, if you went from background color, gray, hover, 
to black, that would be maybe a little more significant. Or if it went from purple to green, that would also be, you know, more significant. So overall, pretty basic. Um, and note, one thing to note is if you are choosing your different, you know, where they're going to show up, then the style, each one has its own style configuration options. So if you did it, you know, in one place, and then if you did it, say, in the inline, and then you came to on the media, it, it, or, you know, you changed your mind, you'd have to redo the settings. So that's pretty subtle. The other thing in Monarch that you may find interesting is um, you can import or export your settings if you wanted to set up another um, blog with everything the same. And here is your analytics, and you can see your sharing trends and reports, which becomes very interesting if you're doing a lot of blogging to see where people are sharing and how frequently they're sharing and the types of content they're sharing. So if you have a blog that has lots of um, it's all about baking and you see people are sharing your brownie posts and not your um, Brussels sprout posts, well then I would keep going with the brownies. Um, or, you know, say, okay, people aren't into my vegetable products and I'm going to make something else. Um, but anyway, if you have any questions on any of it, or blogging tips, just let me know and we'll talk it through.